talks. So uh, since we encourage people to ask a question during the talk, so when you raise the hand, also say the word question, and then I will bring the uh, microphone uh, to you because otherwise I will not see who is raising the hand. And uh, the first speaker is Yuji Matsuda, and the title of the talk, Majorana Quantization and Half Integer Thermal Quantum Hall Effect in a Kitaev Spin Liquid. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the organizer inviting this workshop. So today, I'd like to talk about uh, uh, Majorana fermions and uh, quantum hole phenomena in a quantum magnet. Uh, this main, uh, main player of this work is Kasahara, Onishi, and Ma, and Sugi, uh, University of Tokyo. And the uh, work has been done in collaboration with Takashi Bachi's group, and uh, nice single crystals has been grown by uh, Professor Tanaka's group, uh, Tokyo Institute of Technology. And uh, Nasu and Motome uh, gave us many in important theoretical suggestions. Uh, in my talk, uh, I, I'd like to start with explaining the uh, Kitai quantum spin liquid quite briefly. Then I talk about uh, detecting Majorana fermions in insulating magnet. Then I talk about uh, Kitai candidate material, alpha ruthenium CL3. After that, I will focus on thermal hole effect in alpha ruthenium CL3. Uh, in particular, I, I will uh, address the issue of half integer quantized thermal hole conductance and topological phase transition. Okay, uh, the, uh, Kitai interaction is a bond dependent Ising like interaction, and each bond favors different directions of x, y, and z, x, y, and y, and z. Then the spins cannot satisfy the three different uh, configurations, different configurations simultaneously, leading to exchange frustrations. The, in 2D honeycomb lattice and 3D hyper honeycomb lattice, exactly sol solvable quantum subliquid ground state appears. Okay, uh, the, in Kitai model, the spins can be represented in terms of four Majorana fermions, a particle is of its own part and, and, uh, antiparticles <laughs> under this constraint. The, uh, the, this, uh, in Kitai model, this bracket operator commutes with total Hamiltonian. And because WP square is unity, the WP can be taken as plus minus one. In the ground state, the all bracket uh, takes a value of plus one. The excited state, there are, is a minus one state, which is called Z2 flux bison. The Kitai spin liquid has very short uh, spin correlation lengths. But actually, the, uh, this, uh, this state is also run, also run to this state. Then the spin correlation length is similar to lattice spacing. Then the quantum spin liquid state with uh, extremely a short of spin correlation length appears in the quantum spin, uh, in, in the Kitaev model. So there are two types of Kitaev quantum spin liquid state, depending on the anisotropy of J1, J, uh, Jx, Gy, J, Jz. The very, uh, 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 very anisotropic case, the gap to spin liquid appears. And uh, in, 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 uh, 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 when the small anisotropy, the gap to spin liquid with the 2D Dirac cone appears. Then the, we are, uh, uh, today I, I would like to discuss in this region. There are uh, uh, two types of excitations in the quantum spin liquid uh, due to the fractionalization of quantum, uh, quantum spins. The, namely the iterant Majorana fermion and localized Majorana fermion, uh, uh, G2 flux or bison. At very high, high temperature, uh, larger than the Kitaev interaction, system is a parabonetic regime. On the other hand, at a very low temperature regime, system is a quantum spin liquid with uh, direct dispersions. And only the iterant Majorana fermions are moving in the bulk. In the intermediate uh, uh, temperature range, the G2 flux are excited and interact with iterant Majorana uh, fermions. Okay, the, uh, let me discuss how to detect the Majorana fermions in this insulating magnet. The, in the absence of magnetic field, the, as I mentioned, Majorana semi-metal state with the Dirac cone dispersion appears in the bulk. The magnetic field 
open up the gap. And uh, topologically, a non-trivial uh, non state with a number of unity appears in the bulk. And uh, the, uh, so this is uh, different from the, in this point, uh, in this sense, uh, this state is very different from the uh, graph N. Because in graph N, if you have a magnetic field, gap does not open. And as a result, the uh, chiral rich current of gapless neutral minor fermions appears at the edge of the, crystal, edge of the sample. Then the, uh, how to detect this uh, uh, chiral, um, uh, chiral minor edge current? Because the minor fermions cannot carry the heat, but can uh, carry the heat. The thermal hole effect is a very powerful probe to detect this uh, uh, chiral minor edge current. So let me compare the system with uh, uh, Kitaku quantum magnet with uh, two-dimensional electron gas, which shows a quantum hole effect. I would like to remind you, in quantum hole effect, uh, two-dimensional uh, conductivity, sigma xy, is, uh, uh, is, uh, is quantized in the unit of e square over h. In the integer quantum hole effect, nu is one, two, three, and uh, h current are carried by electrons. In the fractional quantum hole effect, the nu is one third, uh, two fifths, and the uh, uh, denominator is usually uh, odd number. And in this case, the edge current are carried by for fractionally charged quasi particles. Also, it is less known that in the quantum hole state, a thermal hole conductance is also quantized. Actually, the two dimensional thermal hole conductance, kappa xi 2d divided by temperature, is quantized in units of this quantity. So, so uh, Q is a central charge and N equals one, two, three. Then the, in the integer quantum hole effect and the usual uh, fractional quantum hole effect with uh, auto denominator, the integer thermal hole, uh, integer thermal hole uh, quantum hole effect is observed. This is recently uh, reported by uh, 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 Weizmann group. Okay, then the, let me discuss a case for a quantum, uh, Kitai quantum swing rigid. In the Kitai quantum swing rigid, uh, the edge current of the neutral minor fermion uh, carries the heat. Because the uh, uh, degree of freedom of Majorana is half of conventional fermion, and Q is one half, namely the non-Abelian anions. So in this case, uh, two-dimensional thermal hole conductance divided by temperature uh, is uh, it takes a uh, half value of these quantities. So namely, half integer thermal quantum hole effect is, is, is expected. In other words, if we observe the, this half integer thermal quantum hole effect, the, this provides a direct evidence of uh, Majorana particle. Okay, the, let me inter, uh, introduce the thermal, uh, thermal hole effect quite briefly. So thermal hole effect is a uh, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Do, do, do you have the Z, Z2 field applied in your Aki dive model? I'm sorry, yeah. um, in 2D electron gas quantum yeah. hole effect, you apply magnetic field. Yeah, yes. Uh, and in Aki dive spin liquid, what is what plays the role oh, of it, the magnetic field? In this case, we apply the magnetic field perpendicular to the plane. Adjust magnetic field? Yeah. Yeah, we apply the magnetic field. But okay. it does not act on the Majorana fermions the uh, same way as uh, magnetic field acts on yeah, yeah, okay. ordinary it, fermions. Yeah, if we apply the magnetic field there to the, uh, the Kitai spin, uh, spin rigid, there are the gap opens in the bulk. But at the edge, the gapless state appears. The similar to the quantum hole effect. Okay. Yeah, but in, in zero field, the, there's no gap. With a, a, a summer hole effect is a, a, a summer analog of the electrical uh, a, a hole effect. And it is a, a, a transverse response in the applied current and the magnetic field. With a, uh, let me discuss the far away measuring. 
the far we measure, we can measure is the, uh, the JX and uh, uh, temperature gradient around the X axis and Y axis. And uh, using these relations, we determine kappa XX and kappa XY. The part is important is that in contrast to kappa XX, kappa XY does not contain the phonon contribution. Then the uh, kappa XY only uh, contains uh, spin contributions. Then we have uh, some advantage to measure kappa XY. So let me discuss the uh, Kita F candidate material, alpha ruthenium CL3. Uh, the Kita F type interactions arise from a partially filled T2G levels in the presence of strongly spin of coupling. Then the J equals one half moton insulator pairs. The uh, material, uh, okay, uh, honeycomb lattice with 90 degree bound, uh, bond by H shared octahedra, hedra, or uh, the uh, can be a can, uh, can, uh, can host the KTF or uh, inter KTF systems as suggested by uh, Jacquel and Kariuri. Actually, in this case, the super exchange pass from this one and this one cancels. Then uh, we can obtain the KTF interaction. Okay, the recently, uh, strongly spin orbit coupled J equal one half moto insulator alpha ruthenium CL3 has emerged as a prime candidate for hosting a appropriate approximate Kita F quantum spin rigid. So today I, I, I discuss this, uh, this material. So actually in this material, the first principal calculation shows the uh, Kita F interaction uh, has a, uh, has, is, uh, do, do dominates. But uh, actually the, uh, this co material contains a Heisenberg term, but it's very small. But off diagonal uh, material has a off diagonal term, but uh, it's comparable or smaller than the Kita F interaction. Then this material has a significant Kita F term. However, uh, because of the known Kita F interactions, anti ferromagnetic order with zigzag spin structure uh, appears at t equal to 7.5 Kelvin. So uh, this, this model is often discussed by K gamma model. So the, uh, uh, let me uh, show you the, some signature of the Kita F spin rigid. The broad magnetic continuum uh, observed by Raman scattering uh, indicates the presence of ferromagnetic not bosonic excitations, uh, up to very high temperatures. The moreover, the ENS neutron scattering shows that the uh, magnetic continuum appears, uh, this is a result, uh, experimental result, of this is a simulation, the magnetic continuum appears below the temperature characterized by Kita F interactions. So these results reflect the proximity to the Kita F model. Okay, the, now the, uh, let me discuss the thermal hole effect in alpha ruthenium CL3. Okay, the, we first measure the thermal uh, conductivity. Actually, thermal conductivity has been measured by many groups shown here. The thermal conductivity decreases and shows a sharp increase at the nail temperature, and then, then decreases. That uh, we observe the clear anomaly at the nail temperatures. But we need to be careful uh, to discuss, uh, to study this material, because in this material, the uh, uh, above nail temperature, uh, the, some, some anomaly often appears. Uh, uh, for example, uh, the, uh, mainly the 14 Kelvin due to the stacking fault. So as I, as I discuss later, the, this stacking fault is, uh, plays, a, uh, plays a very important role for the uh, quantum thermal hole conductance. So that we carefully select the sample which does not show the uh, 14 Kelvin anomaly due to stacking fault. Actually, the, before the experiment, we carefully selected the sample which show no anomaly at uh, 14 Kelvin. But this is not enough because the sample is very easy to uh, bend. So that if you bend the sample, the stacking fault is easy to be introduced inside the crystal. Then once you introduce a, a stacking fault inside crystal, you cannot remove it. Then the, to check it, after the measurement, we always measure the magnetic susceptibility and specific heat and confirmed the stacking fault was not introduced during the measurement. So, uh, and also we selected the high quality single crystals which show the large kappa XX. Okay, this is a temperature dependence of the uh, thermal hole effect divided by temperature for two different crystals. Uh, we apply the magnetic field perpendicular to the frame. So again, the, uh, 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 so, okay, the, uh, actually the thermal hole response is very tiny compared to the longitudinal response. 
it's an uh, order of 0.1% of the Lorentzian response. Then special care was taken to measure kappa xy. So we have done the, uh, the following method to check the, uh, our, our result. So we measured two different crystals, uh, sharp one and sharp two, sample one and sample two, by different setup. One sample was measured by our university, Kyoto University. The other sample was measured in Kyoto, uh, University of Tokyo, ISSP. So with different kind of thermometer. So we used uh, Sanox uh, 1070, and ISSP used uh, Sanox 1050. And in this measurement, calibration of the thermometer in magnetic field is crucial. Then the, uh, both, uh, uh, the both thermometers are calibrated by different method. So we calibrate the, the thermometer by capacitance method, and ISSP uh, calibrate the, the uh, thermometer by, uh, by uh, I forget it, sorry. Maybe the cancellation coil method. And my, also importantly, the data was analyzed by different persons, uh, f a female and male. <laughs> so, as by this figure, the we observe the I think the same behavior in sample one and sample two. So we have a confidence, <laughs> confident on the result. Okay. Then the uh, in finite kappa x by appears below 70 Kelvin, nearly 70 Kelvin, which correspond to kita interaction. This indicates kappa x by detect excitations inherent to the spigilated state. So this is consistent with the uh, uh, numerical result. And actually, the uh, uh, absolute value of kappa xy of this material is. Oh. Sorry, uh, uh, can you comment this part? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, uh, this, 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 this behavior? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, the red points have the, indicate the maximum around between 60 and 70k, uh -huh. and the blue just goes. Uh, Slowly. Ah, this, uh, I think Can this you error, comment uh, this? Uh, this error bar. <laughs> because, uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the summer hole response is very tiny. Then, the, at high te especially at, at, at high temperature, we have the large error bar. So we, we repeated many times in these regions, but still we have some uh, error bars like this one. But below uh, 50 Kelvin, uh, the uh, error bar is just like this. So the, uh, the, uh, the absolute value of uh, kappa xy of this material is large. It's really, really large. It's one or two orders of magnitude larger than other materials like the triangular and the Kagome and the particular lattice. So with decreasing temperature, kappa xy uh, divided by temperature increase and show the maximum and then decrease. Uh, yeah, I probably miss it, but why does the uh, the conductivity change its sign twice, right? I mean, at low temperature it is negative, and it is negative again at the higher temperature, is it? Uh, uh, yeah, these regions? Yes, uh, why is it change its sign, I mean, but twice? Okay, uh, 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 that's, uh, that's an in, uh, interesting question, but uh, at least uh, now that we don't have uh, any explanation why the it's sign change. But what is important is uh, at the temperature, uh, it goes to zero. And then the, as narrow temperature, it changes the sign. And uh, even at a very low temperature, the, they have uh, some uh, finite kappa uh, gigs by, but it's negative. But uh, I think that this comes from the, some Jarosinski-Moria uh, interaction. Jarosinski-Moria uh, interaction of this material is order of five Kelvin. Then the, the, uh, if you take into account the uh, Jarosinski-Moria interaction, the, we can observe the kappa gigs by even in the order of state. But uh, again, the, we don't have a, 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 a satisfactory explanation for this behavior. Okay, then the, uh, so in this uh, figure, the right figure represents a uh, 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 kappa x by the two-dimensional thermal hole conductance divided by temperature, which is uh, plotted in the in unit of this one. So one half corresponds to the half quantization. So unfortunately, the kappa x y is, uh, okay, the uh, kappa x y reaches close to the half of the quantized value, but the quantization is not attained. This is because the uh, low temperature properties are masked by magnetic order. 
Then the, we could not observe the uh, half quantized thermal uh, hole conductance in this geometry. So uh, we, uh, we almost gave up the experiment. So we are in the uh, dead end. But uh, we can escape this problem by the following method. Actually, the, the, in this material, if we apply the magnetic field, the parallel to AB plane, the nail order is strongly suppressed. And at nearly, uh, nearly seven or eight tesla, nail temperature goes to zero. And actually, uh, the, uh, the, this shows the inertial neutron scattering result. So in, the, in these regions, uh, above the, uh, in zero field, the, the magnetic continuance is observed. But in these regions, the spin wave-like excitation is observed. But in these regions, again, the continuum of excitation is observed, similar to here. And this is gapped, OK? So the, this indicates the magnetic continuous uh, at high energy above H, uh, perpend uh, H star perpendicular. So the indicating the appearance of unusual spin liquid state above H star, I mean, namely in these regions. Then the, we measure the thermal hole conductance in tilted magnetic field. So in this case, the magnetic field are parallel component, separate the antiferon coda, and uh, a phase transition is tuned by H parallel. But the thermal hole response is induced by perpendicular component, H perpendicular. So we have done this measurement. Okay, uh, I skipped the detailed argument, but uh, this is a phase diagram in tilted magnetic field. So cross is a phase diagram in parallel field. And these are the data for uh, 60 degree. The, uh, this is a uh, uh, TN at 60, 70, 60 degree agree well with that for parallel field case. And the vanishes at the same H par 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 parallel. And the 45 degree case, slightly reduced. But anyway, this indicates the quasi 2D nature of magnetic properties. Actually, this is a Van der Waals coupled uh, compound. Okay, the, this is a, a, a field of dependence of kappa XY uh, divided by temperature. So in, in this region, uh, the system is in the anti, uh, antiferromagnetic order here. But once entering the uh, spin liquid state, thermal conductivity steeply increased. So in these regions, the, the kappa xy divided by temperature shows the plateau behavior here. And this is the right figure, again, uh, two-dimensional kappa xy divided by temperature uh, is plotted in the units of these this quantities. Uji, I have a question. So, yes. since, so in this plot for kappa xy, you have only one point which is negative. And before you were showing the whole tail okay. which was negative kappa xy. Uh, is it just how we can understand this? Because you see that for like very small field, the first two points show okay. positive. But, yeah, but actually, you know, that data, uh, we apply the magnetic field of 14 tesla. Then the resolution is very good. But in this case, the magnetic field uh, or the applied is only a two or three tesla. So resolution is not so good compared to the previous data. Then the, but it shows the negative. If you take the, okay. So in these regions, the, as you see, the uh, two-dimensional kappa xy over t is nearly half quantized. Actually, in these regions, uh, we take the, uh, the data many times, and the data is quite reproducible. And that means the quantum whole plateau appears in the quantum spin liquid state. And uh, that value is, is half of this value, nearly, namely the half of the quantized value of the quantum whole effect is observed. So uh, again, this is half, half of the, that expected the integer quantum whole effect. Okay, so this is our, our temperature dependence of the uh, thermal hole conductance in, uh, in for the 60 degree with tilted angle. The, in uh, this uh, case of uh, uh, 4.9 Kelvin and 3.7 Kelvin. So in all temperatures, we observe the plateau behavior, which is quantized, nearly half of the, uh, uh, the uh, quantized value. Unfortunately, we could not go down to below this temperature because below this temperature, the thermal response is become very tiny. So the error will increase. And at high temperature, the the, uh, we, uh, the deviation from the quantized value is observed. And at 15 Kelvin, 
the, we never observe the plateau like behavior. So we also measure the different angle. The, at 45 degree, the, we, we again observe the uh, half uh, quantized thermal hole conductance at all temperatures. Interestingly, at 60 degree, we observe the some enhancement. Uh, from, uh, uh, enhancement from the plateau value, but 45 degree, we never observe the such a behavior. Actually, the origin of such enhancement is unknown. But in both cases, uh, in, in either case, the thermal hole conductance suddenly goes to zero at high temperatures. So I would like to emphasize, so as I mentioned, this is a response of insulator. So this thermal hole conductance arises from the response of neutral quasi-particle. The second point is a, a, a Prado indicates that topologically protected. And the degree of freedom is half of conventional fermions because one half, uh, half quantized. So these are the, uh, provide the evidence of the Majorana fermion. So let me discuss the temporal dependence of Prado behavior at this point. Okay, uh, here's the temporal dependence of kappa x over t. And here's a quantized value. As a, as a, a half integer thermal hole conductance is preserved nearly up to 5 Kelvin. Above 5 Kelvin, uptown of the, uh, 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 uptown of kappa xy over t is observed. And uh, this is a high temperature regime. So it increases and shows a peak at 20 Kelvin, then decreases and vanishes nearly uh, 60 Kelvin. So the in, in the conventional quantum hole system, the quantum hole plateau is observed very low temperatures, usually the below 100 millikelvin. But in this case, the quantization uh, preserved up to 5 kelvin. This indicates the Majorana gap is very large. So this is our, our, the NMR result. The NMR 1 over T1T has been measured in four groups. And the three groups uh, observe the similar result. And three groups report. In the, in the region we observe the plateau, the, the large gap, nearly 30 Kelvin, is report, they reported. On the other hand, the, this group shows the gapless. But uh, if we believe this result, uh, this is consistent with uh, the plateau up to 5 Kelvin. But recently, the neutron scattering experiment also shows a gap uh, order of 10 Kelvin. Okay, the next important uh, next in the interesting question is uh, what is the origin of uptown of kappa x over t from the quantized value? This, this, this one. Actually, the, there are two theories has been proposed. First one is phonon by Achim Roche. And in this case, kappa x y increase as a function of t squared. And uh, recently, the Yonggu Moon's group KAIST also claims uh, this uh, enhancement come from the delocalized bisons due to the presence of next to nearest neighbor interaction. Unfortunately, our experimental results cannot check uh, uh, which is correct because of the resolution. Okay, uh, another important point is uh, uh, the effect of the phonon. So recently, the uh, uh, Atim Roche and uh, Valence uh, proposed the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, effect of the phonon. And they proposed a similar theory. The, according to their theory, the uh, the, uh, the thermal hole conductance is quantized when the phonon and the H current are equal, uh, summary, uh, equally summarized. On the other hand, at very low temperature, when the phonon uh, becomes ballistic, the decoupling of phonon and H occurs. So in this case, the, uh, we, uh, the, uh, we, we, we never expect a quantized thermal hole conductance. But at T equal zero, we can expect a thermal hole conductance. So unfortunately, we, we could not check it because we cannot go down to very low temperatures. But anyway, the, this is uh, consistent with the uh, uh, experiment. Okay, the, let me discuss uh, sample dependence. The, we, uh, until now, we measured uh, four crystals, the sample one, two, three, and uh, okay, uh, now sample three is now we are measuring, so I didn't show this data. And sample one and two, which shows a very large uh, kappa XX, we observe the plateau. But uh, we also measure the as a sample with low quality, the sharp, sharp three crystal. In this crystal, the we observe the large anomaly at 14 Kelvin. 
due to starting fault. In such a crystal, we never observe the, uh, the, the, uh, the thermal hole conductance, quantum thermal hole conductance. Also, the some kind of plateau behavior is observed. Okay, the, uh, let me discuss the topological phase transitions. Okay, I'll summarize the data. And there are three regions. In these regions, kappa xy is very small. And in these regions, half integer plateau appears. And in these regions, uh, color edge current of neutral violet fermion uh, flowing at the edge. And uh, in these regions, uh, kappa xy suddenly goes to zero. And in these regions, the, uh, uh, the topological phase transition to photophotomagnetic photomagnetic sta phase or a new quantum subjective state. The name is, uh, anyway, this is a topolog uh, topological phase transition point located in these regions. But actually, the, uh, the recently, the uh, okay, special key to show the clear anomaly at this point. So this indicates, uh, uh, suggests the presence of quantum critical point. Okay, I skip the, the couple x by color plot. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Okay, one minute, one minute. Okay. One minute. okay. The recent Myrna edge current has been observed the fractional quantum hole effect. The half integer thermal hole conductance of the uh, five half state appears in the uh, uh, Quantum, uh, fractional quantum hole effect. But question, uh, but, but point is the uh, origin of five half state in fractional quantum hole effect is controversial. And also the uh, Marana edge current induced by proximity effect has been also reported in uh, quantum anomalous hole insulator uh, superconducting hybrid systems. So they observe the half integer uh, uh, the cup, uh, uh, of sigma x, xx, not xy, long general electric conductance. But soon after the, uh, this experiment, different interpretations other than Majorana has been proposed. So this effect is still controversial. Okay, this is a summary of my talk. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks a lot for a very nice talk.